what is sub gangster so today got the car starting lifting it up uh, i'm gonna do oil change and transmission fluid change you guys have already seen how to do an oil change so go check out that video it'll be up here on the i thing or whatever it was the first time doing it myself that was like uh, like five, six months ago, I believe. So it's pretty good time that it lasted. I drive it a good amount, honestly. I drive it a good amount, guys. So that's also a thing. I'm at 27.4 now, right under 0.4, right, right under 400, like 370 something, 80 something, I believe now. But yeah, I'm right there. So the car, I have it lift up right here on the side. So this is the thing with when you lower this car. The jacking point in the middle is all the way under. I'll show you guys right now. But today we're doing transmission oil change for the video. I'm gonna do the regular oil change too, but you guys already seen how to do that and I've already done that. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the transmission and we're gonna be using this right here. We're gonna be using AMS oil. Hell yeah, everybody says that when they switch to this, that the shifting feels way better. So hell yeah, time to get rid of that old fluid that I learned in, that I learned on and time to get it with this one right here, man. You know, lube up that transmission with some of this AMS oil. Hell yeah, guys. Look, there's the jacking point right there. Oil shield right here, oil pan, tray, whatever it's called. Right there's a jacking point in the center of the car. It's all the way back here. And my ninth gen, it was right here. And I tried finding one for right here, but there is none. So it's highly recommended. So, so I recommend it's just right there right here so like if your car isn't lifted or anything you could probably shove a low super low profile jack under here and lift it up but mine is lowered so it's kind of difficult to do that and with my super low one it doesn't reach all the way in here there's probably some longer jacks out there but i lift up one side first and shove this other jack right here i have two jacks and then this one lift it from here and then we're all good so hell yeah guys these ain't no freaking wish jacks all right then you're from wish.com so they hold up nice all right so now we drop the car on the jack and then take this thing off right here, guys. Hell yeah. I was kind of dumb. I started this whole process doing the oil change, like getting everything down. I'm doing the oil change first and then I'll show you guys the transmission change, but I forgot the damn filter. And I looked at the filter and I'm like, oh snap, the filter. So I just had to make a quick tip for AutoZone. Good thing I have the other car, man, my ninth gen. Hell yeah, blows AC super cold. This one, I think, it needs to be checked so i'm gonna uh, schedule that because it does not blow ac super 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 cold it, well maybe because it's been sitting in the sun but at the same time that one sits outside every single damn day so i don't know guys i'll have to check that out let me know your thoughts on that because i know a lot of people have issues with the temp chins uh stupid ac shit and then the warranty and then they don't cover a certain part but they do cover another part it's stupid man but i'll have to go check that out the stupid dealer but look at this hell yeah knn guys knn is what i always use for my old filters on all my cars and for the filters on the inside of the car and if you have a stock intake i recommend using a knn filter as a stock intake or prl prl has some too so hell yeah guys. all right guys so right here look so the transmission thing where you're going to be putting it in there is right here this thing right here look, where i have my little uh ex a, a extended socket thing right here it goes right there that's where you're going to put your funnel in i recommend a long tube a long neck funnel like one of those long ones that could sit all the way up here not the oil change you could try to do the oil change it's going to sit all the way down here so you're gonna probably make a mess but i recommend using one of those long tube funnels i'll show you what i have right now but that right there is a 3 8 um thing you don't need any uh, actual socket you just need the uh, actual wrench to go in there 3 8 so i got this one right here long extension and then i believe the bottom one is a one half let me see right now the transmission thing is right here right next to the motor mount i got the 271 street one shout out to the homie luis for that right here is the transmission thing right here like this one right here and it is a one eighths i believe a one half should be a one half if not then it is a three eighths also nah it's a three eighths it's a three eighths guys so this is three eighths and the top is a three eighths so that makes it pretty easy i thought i was a one half because i believe on my ninth gen was one half i'm not sure but it's a three eighths guys three eighths right here three eighths at the top and then right here's where you drain it all out it should only be like two quarts it says 1.9 quarts 
basically. I believe you'll be fine storing in that point one extra. You'll be fine, guys. You'll be fine. That's probably what I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna just let it go through a bit with this open and then just let it like kind of a little barely flush with that point one quartz. But either way, guys, you'll be fine. That's what I do with the oil change because the oil change says 3.7. So that 0.3 extra from the four quart bottle that I get from Amsoil, I threw a bit in there extra with the valve thing at the bottom open, and then it just all goes through. Then I just fill it up with the rest that's in there. And I took, and I used like 0.2 or something, and yeah, and then I'm good. 3.7 or 3.8, you'll be fine like that, guys. And then for the transmission, same thing, it says 1.9. You'll be fine with two exactly. That's why I bought two, two quarts, so you should be good, guys. So. Let me get it going. Let me loose, loosen up the bottom now. It's three eighths also. The top bolt was a bit difficult to take off, guys. And I feel like this is gonna splish splash everywhere. But let's go slowly. The top one was a little difficult to take off. So I had to use a breaker bar, man. I think I'm gonna have to do that again. So yeah, guys, since my socket is so little, like look at this one. Let's use the breaker bar. It's just the jack handle. Just put it right there. And then this is more safe and secure. Well, you might hit yourself in the face if you don't know what you're doing, but this is better. And then just make sure it's on the loosening. And then let's go, little by little. Oh, shit. There we go, guys. That shit snapped. I always hate when that happens, man. There we go. Broke the initial torque. And the torque to this stuff, guys, I'm not really sure, honestly. So don't, don't quote me on that thing, guys. Let's move back a bit. This might splash is what I believe it's going to do. And put this up like this. And then just little by little, I'm gonna burn myself probably. Should be wearing gloves, but this is a man's work. We don't need no gloves, guys. Oh shit! Woo! Just how I imagined. Splish splashing everywhere. Damn, guys, that shit smells like fucking like some fucking burnt ass onion or some shit. Like what the hell? And the reason I was splish splashing like this because I didn't fully remove the. The thing at the top, which I should have, so it could breathe through. Instead, it was just split splashing everywhere, man. Freaking hell, man. Making a mess. Like my dad always says, do the shit right. That Dr. Pepper, the best drink. So shout out to Timon. Uh, Timothy Sarin, Timothy Sarin. I don't know your name, bro. My bad. But I know you watch the video sometimes, but shout out to you. Because you're the one that watched your video and... Amzo, you recommended it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go Amzo at everything. So look at that. Make sure to rotate. And these have been sitting in my garage for like, like a month and a half now, guys. I've ordered them a while ago, and they've just been sitting in this box here with everything else for my maintenance. I'm gonna do brake fluid too. But yeah, guys, and I'm I'm looking how to do this. How to do this right here, guys? I might just order the Mishimoto um, radiator. The silicone radiator tubes and swap those out and then just throw all this in there but yeah guys this is the method to do it since it ships out i did the same thing with the oil just do a couple flips have it upside down rotate it so that all the additives and everything can just be mixed in like pretty evenly you don't want it to just be throwing everything it's like kool-aid kool-aid you make it you serve it sometimes the stuff drops if you don't mix it a bit before or even that Gatorade mix powder thing, or even the lemonade, even the horchata sometimes when you mix that shit, all the stuff drops down. Mix it a bit, and then it's every spread around pretty good evenly. That's that's what I'm doing basically with this, so yeah. Should be good, guys, like that. I've already been mixing it for a good while now, but yeah. That freaking trans oil smells like freaking burnt onion or like some damn burnt garlic shit i don't know guys but this is the the funnel i was telling you about look at this long neck tube funnel something like this long neck funnel and then it's perfect because look i already took off the bolt under you just put it right here bam and then look bam right here perfect you can just pour it right here like boom you can take it in like go 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 and now go right here so sick just have that ready right here Let's check the bottom, clean it up because that shit splish splashed everywhere. This is the top one. I thought I had a gasket, but it doesn't have a gasket up here. So I, can, I think we're good. It has a line though. So I try to line it up perfectly and it's marked right there too. That's like a OEM thing from the, from the factory, I believe, when they put everything together. All right guys, so look, this is something nobody explained in the videos that I saw, but look, 
the bottom one does have a crush washer but from the looks of it it looks good still it looks fine nobody in any video said anything i have some but they don't fit i just looked at them right now they're way thinner and they look a little more flimsier they fit for my for my uh, knife chin they were this one it looks fine maybe i'm gonna just rotate it to like the other way so it could crush the other way instead now so it could be secure like that so i'm gonna just flip it and then i believe we are good to go guys hell yeah if anything um <clears throat> just make sure when you do this and you're watching my video go get a new one from the dealer just in case or order some online i believe you can find them online right here but it looks fine it looks fine guys it doesn't look thin or anything or misshaped so hell yeah, yeah should be good but for the next time i will be getting a new one at this so just just to be safe guys just letting you know i'm not changing it out right now the videos i saw they didn't even mention it they didn't even mention this so i believe i'll be fine so now let me just clean the bottom and then put this back on hell yeah guys so i just finished wiping everything down look at that it looks clean shiny look at that Damn, all clean hell yeah guys sick so it looks like that now clean if there's any leaks i'll be able to tell which i'm gonna be checking out right now then i use the the break apart thing again just to tighten it a bit more to tuck it down pretty good just a good amount until i felt that it couldn't go anymore so i just left it like that and then we're good to go now to just drop in the oil pretty simple just like an oil change guys these things are simple ams oil for the win hell yeah and i'm gonna just throw in the two quarts it says 1.9 well, you know what? I'm gonna just throw it all in there. We're, we should be fine, guys. Should be fine. It's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt. So, hell yeah, here we go. Man, look at that rich oil. Look how it looks clean. And this shit doesn't smell like an old damn burning garlic thing. It ain't dirty inside the funnel, guys, because I could tell you because this was shoved in, in there. It's just a little bit on the side right here. And it's a little dusty from the top from whatever didn't get covered. I should have wiped it a little before, but we're good. This was shoved in there all the way down, so should be clean, clean, clean. Here's a quick question for you guys. So since in the future we, we will be full EV by like 2040 plus, we will be EV fully. Everybody will own an electric vehicle. Uh, what's going to happen to all the mechanics that do the oil work, engine work, heads? head gaskets um intake manifold intakes even even all that old stuff carburetors we're still gonna have all that right like here's here's my question is the ev gonna make some companies run out of business or will the companies have to adjust and start making products for ev i mean how's prl gonna make an intake or an exhaust system for a car that doesn't have a damn intake or exhaust uh placement or anything anymore you get me what are they supposed to do just cosmetics now just transmission work i mean transmission you're still going into transmission right all wheel drive cvts and all that but what about the engine there's going to be no more engine stuff none of that stuff guys anymore like no more wrench time no more wrench time doing head doing working on the head porting and, and sort porting uh manifolds and all that stuff heads r and d and everything like what's going to happen with that guys huh answer me that no more oil changes at jiffy loop they're just gonna do transmission oil changes or what Be businesses are gonna like not be good anymore like what's gonna happen with that guys give me your thoughts on that because it's just crazy how like doing this right here it might still be here or may not but the engine oil it's definitely gonna be gone guys i I'm, i know the old cars and all that and they're, they're, they can't make me sell my si by 2040 i'm gonna still probably have it by then if it doesn't blow up, I don't know, guys. 2040, that's a long time from now. But still, we don't know how the future is. So our company is going to have to adjust or what's going to happen to get me because that's kind of messed up, though. I believe some companies are going to run out of business because all they do is engine stuff. So let me know your thoughts on that, guys. But look at that rich oil. Hell yeah. That AMS oil. This ain't for the carne asada, guys. This ain't for your huevos rancheros or huevos fritos this is for the for the transmission in the civic si food the si food hell yeah dog hell yeah guys so engine oil done transmission oil done i just tightened up everything put everything back on the bottom turned on the car ripped it up a bit long gas 
So I need to go fill that up, but I just reset the oil and the air filters, because I did the air filters and the mission motivator, you saw me do the PRL, uh, new filter. Inside cabin filter, just take it out, hit it a bit. It's the K&N one for mine. And yeah, guys, and then also says brake fluid. So separate video will be coming for that soon for the brake fluid thing. I also went with AMS oil. Where is it at? Also went with AMS oil for that. So I'll be doing that. A separate video guys hell yeah but the car feels great yet to drive it but i'll give a pov pretty soon and after all the maintenance is done even after this I'll tell you guys how everything feels Man, you can check the whip and peel, damn, this ticket is ill, gear shift from the smoothest butter, cut in and out of lanes, undercover, style, wow, my member of the rear view, you can never fly by, homie, I will see you, Mach 5, change terrains if need be, thou shall never floor pass, I would let the ID before you act on